What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. With this video, we are jumping into the finale, the final issue. This is Sabretooth issue number 5. And man, has there been a lot going on. Sabretooth creating his own hell underneath Krakoa. Cypher had allowed this because he kind of felt bad for Sabretooth. But of course, Sabretooth, he has pushed everything to its limits. Victor Creed becoming the king of hell. It wasn't long before he had subjects. Individuals like Necra, Melter, Madison Jeffries, Third Eye, so on and so forth. He manipulated every situation until Cypher had no other option but to let him free. And so now Sabretooth, he has risen up from hell. Now, make sure that you guys have subscribed to the channel and you like this video. With that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we get into the finale issue, we are picking up with Sabretooth making his getaway. Now Mole and Magma, they had come here to try and free everybody that was stuck in the pits. But the only one that has risen up is Sabretooth. Exactly how he had planned, exploiting other people's plans. Heading all the way to Nanny's Cove. This is where he finds a vessel. A boat waiting just so he can take it out and be gone. Necra and all of her low rent Amazons, they kept a boat here. And that is exactly how he is getting off the island. When they had offered to help Necra, they didn't realize that they were also going to be helping Sabretooth. But Sabretooth, he doesn't get off this island without a little bit of confrontation. That is when he runs into Mystique and I. Irene. Even Destiny is in a little bit of disbelief that Sabretooth is actually here, not believing it until she saw it with her own eyes. As Mystique just gives him a good beating, Sabretooth isn't really fighting back, trying to figure out if she is going to turn him in. This is where Destiny intervenes. Asking what it's going to be, Sabretooth is going to be surprised by the answer, because today, they are choosing chaos. And with that, Sabretooth is let free. That's what takes us inside the pit. With Necra pointing out that they see all five of them, but where is Sabretooth? This is when Cypher lets them know that he is gone and it is all his fault. And while he is not asking them to sympathize with him, he is letting them know that he stole a boat and he took to sea. Necra at first, she is really concerned about Roxanne, thinking that maybe she had been killed in, in Sabretooth's escape plan, but really all that happened is a lot of people were knocked unconscious. Everyone on this end of the island had gotten knocked out because Krokoa, it reacted instinctively after that major trauma. But there is still time for them to go after Sabretooth, but they're never gonna put him back in the pit saying that he has done enough damage to Koa. He shows them the throne of Sabretooth. Sabretooth had made this hell, but he didn't keep it with him. And so here it remains, a part of Krakoa, letting them all know that Sabretooth had made a bargain, that he would stop the rebellion up top if he was let loose, not mentioning any of the others. The truth is, it's easier to hide one escapee than it is six. Now this is where we get what I have been waiting for. Orphan Maker and Nanny. The thing is, it's not six prisoners, it's nine. The deal that Krakoa and Cypher are offering them means that all of them go. That includes Toad. At this point, Necra's like, who are we even taking with us? I don't know who these people are. Toad saying, we don't know who you are either. Orphan Maker pointing to Melter saying, I know who that is, that's the Human Torch. But Cypher tells them, it's all of you or none of you. The truth is, Saber to change Krakoa like any virus would. This throne sits empty. He would hate to see what happens if Toad or Orphan Maker sit in that chair. He dreads the hell that Nanny might create. His goal is to keep this throne empty. And on the surface, Professor Xavier, he hears what everybody is thinking on the surface. 
The little doubts, the rebellion that had been ignited, people believing that he is a tyrant, that he doesn't belong where he is, all of the rumors that are getting around. Because mutants, they may be immortal, but their reputations, their reputations are not. With Cypher bringing everybody to the surface, they tell him to track down Sabretooth and drop this tiny little skull piece in the soil on which he stands. And so this is not an assassination attempt. This seed won't kill him, but he will wish that it did. That's what takes us to the open sea. With Sabretooth making his getaway, he has every intention of returning to Krakoa with an army. As he makes his way through these waters, this is when he runs into something. This something, it lifts his ship up out of the sea, letting him know that he is in unauthorized territory. We see an inhibitor collar come out of nowhere. It attaches itself right to his neck. And now they are admitting him to Station 6. This is a for-profit facility operated by Orcus. Here, he will be tested in purgatory. And so while now he is locked up yet again, Orphan Maker, Nanny, all of the other individuals inside the pit, they are hightailing it across the ocean trying to locate Sabretooth. Off in the distance, we have Destiny and Mystique looking on this, and Mystique is wondering what is the purpose to all of this. Destiny is saying that Sabretooth, he's not going to be able to succeed alone. And right now, that is exactly what they want Sabretooth to do. So many lives are at stake. They also need the five to resurrect Birdie. She deserves to live again, Destiny says, but far away from Victor. Mystique having to ask the question, can a bad man ever do a good thing? Destiny, she is hoping so. And for what she saw, Mystique wouldn't believe her if she told her. This is where we pick up and we see Sabretooth sitting in what appears to be a throne, saying, to me, my exiles. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This was definitely a lot of fun. This last issue, it brought in everything I was hoping for. We got to see Orphan Maker. We got to see Nanny. We got to see Toad. All of them released from hell and going to stop Sabretooth. But there is a good possibility that stopping him is not what is going to happen. Especially after what Destiny said. This army that he he is, he is amassing. Because what they did, they dropped Sabretooth into Station 6. Station 6 is a prison for mutants. If Sabretooth is able to overthrow this facility with the help of Orphan Maker and all of the others, he could become King of the Exiles. Having a mutant army at his fingertips, ones that are probably not too fond of Charles Xavier in the Quiet Council. And so while things might have been looking up for mutant kind, having so many things against them for a long time, Game World is finally off the board, things are finally starting to look a little bit better, and then nope, we got Sabretooth and his army of exiles that are more than likely going to be making their appearance at some point in time. When Mystique says that they chose Chaos, they most definitely chose Chaos. With this only being five issues, it really was a lot of fun. Krokoa now officially has a hell. If somebody sits on that throne, it gives them a very unique amount of power. Cypher's, Cypher's really trying to keep people out of hell at this point. Charles Xavier also being unaware of this situation. Or at least that's what we are believed to see so far. So we can only imagine once he does find out about this, he is not going to be very happy. I for one am super excited to see what comes next. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything that happened with Sabretooth, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button. This button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little bit helps us out. Now, if you can't do that, do me a favor hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure that you like this video, and until the next breakdown.